Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the NBA Rising Stars Challenge. Get ready for some thrilling end-to-end -end action as the best first- and second-year players in the NBA do battle on the hardwood. Alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. And, Kevin, you talked about some thrills being in store for us tonight. These young guys are all capable of making a spectacular play at any given time, and I, I got a feeling we'll see plenty of them here tonight. Absolutely. Well, without question, I mean, if this game has taught us anything over the last few years, over the years in general, it's there isn't a highlight reel big enough to capture all of the incredible high-flying action. And now the opening lineup for Team World. We've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Andre Ayton out there with Clark. Then there's Luka Doncic. And it's a Kogi in at the three set. The offensive rebound. Robinson misses. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Passes to Aiden. Yep, that one goes in there. And, you know, I know his NBA career is, is just starting out, but he has been logging some veteran minutes in the regular season. Well, in his short time in the league, Greg, he's earned the full confidence of the coaching staff. They're not afraid to use him in any situation. And the first half of his season, boy, how special has it been? He has been on a rampage. Yeah, and he's got tremendous talent. And when he's fully healthy and engaged, I mean, he's really impossible to stop. That's what we've been seeing this year from him. And it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. He could have messed that up trying for a big slam. Nice work going to the layup. Well, I think, as is always the case, the story of the game tonight won't have a lot to do with defense. That's the way it always is. I mean, a half-court alley-oop or a spectacular behind-the-back pass, that's exactly what the people want to see in this game. You brought the big stage these young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And, and it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. And here's Morant after Luka Doncic hitting the three. Robinson kicks to Morant. Rebound by Okogi. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I was able to talk to Doc Rivers a few minutes ago. He said, now this event, it's really about the future of this league. It's a chance for young players to measure their development against their peers. And it sure sounds like he enjoys instructing these guys, giving them some of his knowledge. That's the teaching part of coaching. Guys? Thank you, David. Four on the shot clock. Here's Wood. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. And here's Morant after Luka Doncic hitting the three. Mark against Morant. He doesn't hit that one. Team World leading by five. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Boy, what a brilliant find by Doncic. So timeout called here, the first for USA. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game.
love this event so much because it combines the world-class ability of these players with the freedom of the playground. Yep, it's the greatest and certainly the most fun pickup game these players will ever play in. USA with another miss. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now, here is Young, Robinson. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. Robinson's got eight. Doncic outside. And they double up Doncic. Ayton against Robinson. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. A Kogi for three. A second chance effort. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Okoro passes to Morant. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Gilgis Alexander finds eight. And Okoro pulls it down. And, and you know what? Defensively, both teams have picked it up as we've gotten a little deeper into this game. A little more competitive fire and intensity being shown out there now. And have to commend the unselfish attitude. Like how Morant just recognized the open man and the ball was right there. And Clark has got the ball here for Team World. Leading by five. And Aiton gets double teamed. For three, a Kogi. And he's good on the three ball. He's got five. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Morant against Gilgis Alexander. And that one's good. Morant. And how about that exhale there? Finally gets one to fall through six attempts. And the basket by a Kogi. Boy, watch how a Kogi powers his way to the finish. Crushes off the contact like it's not there and gets it to go down. Now here's Morant. Young's shot is off. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. The USA calls time here. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. But, you know, he's destroying them right now, guys. This defense has to make an adjustment to try and cool him off. Kongwu's checked in for Christian Wood. DeAnthony Melton comes in for a curl. And Ball subbed in for Trey Young. Here's Melton. Robinson down low. He's defended by Wagner. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to wheel his team back in the game. To the inside. And Barrett the bucket on the assist by Flynn. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. USA trails by 10. Here's Melton. He dishes it to Okongwu. And it's blocked. Now, here's Barrett. Pass to Hachimura. Here's Silver. It's deflected. And now, USA on the break. Ball's running. Barrett kicks to Flynn. Back to Barrett. The shot's good on the assist by Flynn. And Team World leads by 12. 
I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Finish off the break. Bill's got six. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. Here's Melton. No points in the game yet for him. Kicks it to Morant. Five to shoot. USA needs to get off a shot. Ball no good. Team World leading by 14. Here's Flynn. A three-pointer, no good. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Robinson, that's good. And you couldn't ask for anything more in terms of efficiency here. Seven of nine to start. The pass to Barrett. Shoots from the block. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Here's Melton. Out to Morant. Who's back up. And that's two points on the layup. And I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and still stay in full control. And here is Flynn. Pass to Silver. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Out, out of bounds. It'll be USA's ball. USA's you know, ball. I think he may have forced that pass when there was really no reason to. And USA with some changes. Dudley's oh checked in. And it's Bagley in for Okongwu. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. And Morant's got the ball here for USA. Down by 12. Here's Bagley. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Here's Barrett. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. So quick and decisive. Barrett's speed and fearlessness is hard to match up against when you're defending. Team World shooting their first free throws of the game. The first free throw is good. Born in Toronto, Barrett joins a talented group of Canadians who have entered the NBA ranks. So he picks up just one from the line that time. USA trails by 13. Melton passes to Morant. Outside, Bagley. Now Dudley. Morant surveying the D. Passes it to Bagley. Shoots over Hachimura. USA with another miss. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Here's Morant. In it goes. That's his third bucket. He's missed five so far. And how about the body control? Morant, even when under duress, stays calm, cool, and collected. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. It's been all about Luka Doncic for Team World. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. Welcome back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. 
team world leading by 15. And you know the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. So team world's five right now. Hachimura out there with Mo Wagner. Then it's Barrett and it's Flynn in at the point. Here's Barrett. And it's off the back rim. No good. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. And when Pachimura is looking to score, it sometimes forces the D to get aggressive. Love the energy. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Team World. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half? He's off on the second. And although he started playing the game later in life, Hachimura has picked it up well. And exciting young player to watch. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. And the confidence Hachimura has in himself knows he can score from this area when given the chance. They get the rebound, Bagley, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. He's much better off making him go to the line. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And really the potential Bagley has is so exciting. Just an absolute menace on both ends. And you can tell he wants to be great. Okoro, he's checked in for USA. Trey Young comes in for Morant. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Team World leading by 15. Here's Barrett. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Marvin Bagley picks one up. And at 6'7", Barrett with terrific positional size, which allows him to create problems for defenders down low. And that one falls for Barrett. Second free throw, no good. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoof. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Basket counts. And Team World leads by 18. And, and even if Gilgis Alexander isn't the fastest guy out there, he stays in balance. It, it helps him to be effective on his drive. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. For USA, they've shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Pretty obvious. Young believes in his ability. A, a fearless shooter who also does a good job at orchestrating the offense. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Hachimura. Good on both. 
Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game because you get points and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. Young passes to Begley and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And that's the thing about Bagley. Big, athletic, versatile, very hard to stop without fouling. For USA, they've shot 75% at the line tonight going three for four. First free throw is good. And Team World making a change here. Akogi's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. To the paint. Here's oh, all the power on there. Gruden. You know, we always get some great dunks in this game. And I think we can add that to the list. Check out the reaction. Listen to that. I mean, that slam was a raise the roof. Up. And Clark has got the ball here for Team World. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. Down low. It's tipped. Now, Okoro still looking for his first bucket in this one. USA with another miss. Team World leading by 19. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Ball with it. Pass to Young. Three-pointer. Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Okoro dishes to double. He kicks it to Young. And stolen by Eaton. Here's Okogi. He's got seven. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Well, I like this from Okoki. I mean, still refining his perimeter game, so he makes his presence felt inside. Here's Bagley. He can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Clark. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. And that one's good by Clark. And, you know, he's kind of come out of the blue this season. Nobody expected to see him playing at such a high level. Almost as though his game developed overnight. I mean, he might have been flying under the radar coming into the season, too. But that's no longer the case. And having to respect Young's deep range defensively, it's hard to close off the lane. Bagley with the block. And that one is good. Aiton's got eight points. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Ball, the pass to Young. A three-pointer off the mark. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Okogi, no good on the shot. So USA will take it the other way. Now, here's Okoro. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Goes up again. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got seven rebounds in the game. He's been an absolute non-factor. Zero factor this game. Just a horrible performance from him. It's hauled in by USA. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. The pass to Okogi. Bagley brings the double team. Doncic passes to Okogi. Now Doncic, five on the clock. Clark finds Doncic. It's good. 16 points for him. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. The USA calls time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. 
Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Kicks to a car roll. Here's Melton. He'll just Alexander cover. USA with another miss. He is zero for his last however many this quarter, guys. Might need to get him out and let him settle down a bit here. And this is Gilgis Alexander's responsibility to find his guys when they're open. Young, good. Well, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Here's Doncic. Plays it up and banks it in. Doncic has got 18 points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And a depth mid-range shooter as well. All Young needs is a little breathing room. And he set the fire. Anjic passes to Okogi. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Doncic against Young. And there's Okongwu. That's good on the assist by Young. Young's got three assists in the game. Anjic outside. Kicks to Clark. Now here's Aiton. He's guarded closely over Okongwu. Tries again, and Aiton with the layup. Aiton's got eight here in the quarter. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Young dishes to Okongwu. Back to Young. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Luka Doncic. You know, you, you can't be overzealous inside when you guard Young. You got to be better at contesting without foul. USA shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. That's good from Young. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Morant, he's checked in for a Coro. And so Young nails them both. One item that stood out, their ball move. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Silva's shot is off. And Morant's got the ball here for USA. To the middle. Here's Okongwu. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got four assists in the game. Pass to Hachimura. Back to Flynn. Nice pass. Run him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Flynn's got his first basket of the night. Now USA with it. Morant outside. Now the dish to Okongwu. Barrett against Young. And Barrett gets it to go. Barrett's got 14 points for the game. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Young's shot is off. 124 left in the first half. Flynn the pass to Hachimura. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. That 
one John Moran. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And USA making a change here. Robinson's checked in. So it's USA now. Passes it to Melton. Back to Morant. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost him. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one, and they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. Pass to Silva. And here is Flynn. The three. It's hauled in by USA. Robinson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Up top, Morant. Covered by Flynn. Yep, that one goes. Morant's got four this quarter. Yeah, you know, the second period's been much more kind to him than the first. I mean, let's see if he can keep it going and maintain this. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And we haven't seen very much of him in the regular season yet. But there's no question he's got a very bright future ahead of him. I agree with all of that. Even with limited playing time, his talent has been evident. And that talent is strong enough to have earned him a spot in this game. And that says a lot, considering he doesn't play a bunch for his team. Here's Silva. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Team World with a massive lead of 30 points here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. Back right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, folks. The Rising Stars Challenge already proving to be a favorite this weekend. Uh, Kenny and Shaq are here. I'm Ernie Johnson. The Rising Stars game has become such a special part of All-Star Weekend. We couldn't have a better showcase for the incredible players that are just getting their NBA careers underway. Just think of all the plays that these young players have in front of them. Well, this Rising Star game is kind of a glimpse of what we're going to see in the future. Pull out the crystal ball and you got to see the stars of the future. This game has a little extra kick, a little extra energy over most others. I love it. You know, this guy can really increase the national visibility of some of those young guys. When you dominate in the Rising Star game, people take notice. We've already seen some intense basketball here tonight. I expect the energy in the second half will only increase, baby. Trust me. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. And we're glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And, you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoy playing together and against each other. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play. And they are putting on a show. They've got Christian Wood. Morant is out there with Young. Then it's a coral. And it's Robinson in its center. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. And the pass to Doncic. Robinson with the block. They get it back. They recover it. And Clark is right there. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Pass to Aiton. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Doncic. Doncic, so multifaceted, a stat sheet stuffer supreme. He does everything, including dropping down. Morant passes to Robinson. 
inside. Here's Young. Lays it up off the glass. Young's got 17 now. That makes three in a row to start the second half. To the wing right side. Aiton finds Gilgis Alexander. It's good. Largely because of that limp. Gilgis Alexander feeling confident attacking inside. It's Young on the wing. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Young's got seven points for the quarter. That would be four in a row for him now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. Feeds it to Doncic. The baseline J. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Down low. Up and in on the layup. Young's got nine points now in just the second half. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. And Aiton gets double team. Clark for three. Hands it from downtown. Man, if Clark ever hits that shot with consistency, watch out. That's a game changer. Morant kicks to Young. Loads it up there for Morant. Wood against Clark. Pass to Okogi. And a miss there on the triple. And here we go. Fast break, and Morant's got it. Count it good. Young's got 24 points. An effective multi-dimensional scorer. Young is incredible at turning on the Jets when he's feeling it. Pass to Clark. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. For Team World, they have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting four of seven from the foul line tonight. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Uh, the potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. Catching up on the changes for USA. Bagley, he's checked in for Wood. And Ball subbed in for a Coro. And so Clark nails both of them. And so it's Young who brings it up for USA. Morant outside. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. And here is Doncic. He's got 18. Gilgis Alexander passes to Doncic. And now USA on the break. He's off on that one. Good D by Gilgis Alexander. Clark the pass to Akogi. Now here's Aiton. Guarded by Morant for three Akogi. Here's Clark. Robinson pulls it in. Now, here is Young, D right on him. He feeds it to Ball. And it's Ayton with the rebound. Ayton's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. A Kogi misses. A Kogi's gotten only one of his threes to drop for him. He's got five attempts. Here's Morant. Good on the shot. Morant's got 12. And for a great shooter, Morant really works for high percentage shots. He loves to take it inside. The feed to Doncic. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Morant passes to Robinson. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I think the pass was even better. I mean, that was room service delivery, and it's fine. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. 
The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. And USA making a change here. Dudley's checked in. And the work ethic that Moran has it sets him up nicely. Make no mistake, this guy wants to be an all-time great. Bagley brings the double team. In a wide open look for Hachimura. That one, no good. So USA will take it the other way. Moran's against Barrett. Moran passes to Bagley. Shoots over Hachimura. Dudley laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. If you can't stop it, here it comes. I'm right at you. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Moran kicks the ball. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's on Luka Doncic. This is his first free throw of the game. Lamelo ball at the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. That's good from ball. The Anthony Melt. He's checked in for USA and a change for Team World. Silva's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Clark, a simple way to let the players be heard were the phrases they had on the backs of their jerseys in the Orlando bubble. Yeah, I love the creativity of that, Kevin. Again, players being proactive and desiring to use the platform they've been given through basketball and their particular brand to speak to issues that resonate with them, issues of inequality and racial injustice, and to do so in a way that was unique and yet appropriate, I think is um, a win-win. I really do. Now, the conversation and slogans are important as a part of agitation, but now it's a matter of targeted, strategic action that can be carried out, not just by players in the league, but by all of us in our own circles of influence to effectuate change and make our world a bit better than we found it. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Team World. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. And the first one drops. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Okong Wu's checked in for Marvin Bagley. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And Okong Wu gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Team World leading by 21. Here's Flynn. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. That was just a perfect possession, getting it in tight for the high-percentage shot. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One shot. So Morant will bring it up for USA. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And stolen by Flynn.
Here's the pass to Wagner. He kicks it to Barrett. Just five on the clock. Here's Silva. Okongwu grabs the board. Ball against Flynn. Ball no good. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Out, Out of bounds, it'll be USA's USA ball. ball. Now USA with it. Now Morant. He's got 18. Banked in off the glass. Morant's got 10 points now just in this quarter. They found the touch from the field here in the second half. It was a struggle in that first. Here's Barrett. And that one goes long. USA trails by 20. Fires it up. Rebound by Team World. Barrett's got rebound number five here tonight. And the dunk by Hachimura. And proving to be effective around the rim. Hachimura leaving no doubt about that one. Here's Morant, and he banks in the lane. Morant's got 22. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Here's Barrett. Sweet little floater. Well, defense is usually praying him to drive. Barrett's developed a nice little floater for when he can't get to the rim. The USA calls time here. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, and I imagine that's exactly what they're talking about right now. They need to tighten it up. Checked in for USA. Okoro comes in for ball. Luka Doncic, he's checked in for Team World. Team World on D. Morant passes to Melton. Over Barrett. Rebound by Team World. Barrett's got six rebounds now in the game. Kicks to Doncic. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And it's out of bounds. Out of Team World will retain possession. And, and he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Shot clock at five. And he makes that one. <laughs> and here's Melton. He'll bring it up for USA. We've got 108 left in the third quarter. Boy, that's a rebounding clinic right there. He boxed out and then went up aggressively and strong for it. It's Barrett on the wing. 16 points for him. This is the Flynn. Shot clock at six. Team World needs to get off a shot. And that one's good, Wagner. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. That three off the mark. Defense better watch out. They better be alert because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Okungu's shot is good. Oh, man, how about the last-minute decision there to pull the shot down and get a better one for your teammate? Flynn with it. Here's Doncic. Yeah, wow, he nails the buzzer, Peter. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. 
What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. And so it's Team World ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. And it's time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge. Tonight, none of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. No, the and athletic, just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game, and that excitement comes out onto the court. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade, all fueled up here for the fourth quarter. So, Team World's five right now. Hachimura out there with Barrett. Then there's Shea Gildas Alexander. Then there's Mo Wagner. And it's Doncic in at the shooting guard. Gildas Alexander finds Barrett. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Aiton, he's checked in for Team World. One shot. And that one falls for Barrett. Greg, last season was kind of a rough one, very turbulent for the NBA, the China controversy, the passing of David Stern, Kobe Bryant, and finally the COVID pandemic. Other than that, <laughs> there was, it was kind of uneventful. Wasn't yeah, it? <laughs> uh, I mean, an incredibly tough year. And, wow. You know, you just go back to March, and who would have ever thought we would go through what we went through? And you talked about all the other issues, David Stern and Kobe both passing. You know, I, I'm just hopeful we get a return to normality because that sounds pretty good right about now. It sure does. Here's Young, drilled from 11 feet out. Young's got 13 points in the second half. Yeah, you know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. And Barrett slams it in. Incredible night for Barrett. He scores in a multitude of ways, and he brings the effort on every possession. Pass to Young. Another three for USA. And there aren't many players more reliable from three-point range than he is, especially when the D's playing off him like that. Uncovered. Again, Team World good for two. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. Melton feeling it out a bit from deep. Wood, Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Okoro over to help. Passes it to Barrett. Takes the three. And that one's in. He's only missed three of 13. Showing improvement in that aspect of his game. Barrett wants to get better firing off the catch. Young outside. Here's Wood, lets the three fly, and Trey Young hits from deep. Young's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for USA. To the paint, here's Barrett, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. And USA gets called for the foul. And have to admire how hard Barrett goes. This kind of assertiveness Take a break. is what Take a break. makes defenders Two feel uneasy. He's off on the first, and USA with some changes. Mitchell Robinson comes in for Okongwu, and it's Bagley in for Christian Wood. Clark, he's checked in for Team World. Akogi comes in for Doncic. Good on the second free throw. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for USA. to Young. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. 
shooting one. On offense, here's Team World. Here's Barrett. Great D that time from Bagley. Now, here's Okoro. Barrett covering. Okoro passes to Bagley. And they pick up two. That's the kind of toughness Bagley needs to show on every possession. Shake off the contact and finish through it. Clark outside. Now the pass to Aiton. Come get it, come get it. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Now that's where you like your shots to come from. Here's Melton. Young, right side. Again, USA. You have to guard Young tight. You got to know he's thinking of shooting as soon as the ball hits his hands. For three, Barrett. Offensive rebound. And he uses the glass on the lane. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. Young is double. It's stolen by Barrett. Four on three break. Here's Clark and slam dunk by Clark. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. Melton passes to Young. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Some solid defense from eight. For three, a Kogi. And it's Melton with the rebound. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Wow, he is lighting it up here in the second half. To the inside, Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. Yeah, just proving how fast he can heat up. Once Aiton finds that rhythm, he is going to work. Okoro passes to Young. Now, here's Okoro. No good from 18. Pass to Okogi. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. Young pass to Okoro. Bagley with the ball. Over Clark. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And it's Team World with the ball. Gil just Alexander passes to Akogi. Here's Hayton. Second shot opportunity. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. An absolute beast inside. Love how Hayton uses his size to draw these fouls. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. You know, so much hype around Aiden. It has that rare combination of NBA-ready body, productivity, and upside. Catching up on the changes for USA. Dudley's checked in, and Ball subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. And a change for Team World. Silva's checked in. Aiton hits them both. So it's USA now. Passes it to Okoro. Here's Bagley. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Got to push Bagley out of the paint. Once he's close to the rim, he is locked in on scoring. Aiton kicks to Clark. Ball against Gilgis Alexander. And yes, it's good. Aiton's got 10 points in the quarter. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Clark outside. Silva the pass to Okogi. And Okoro over to help. Here's Hayton. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. 
And at seven foot one and 250 pounds, Aiden is a handful. Not easy trying to guard him without fouling. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one calls for Morant. He's checked in for Young. And a change for Team World. Flynn's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Here's Bagley. Rebound by Team World. Plus eight in the differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Pass to Morant. Back to ball. To the middle. And finished off by Morant. Proving how dominant he can be. When Morant is shooting with confidence, it really allows him to take over. Here's Flynn. Nailed from three-point land. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on a roll and knock him down. And here is a core roll. From the line, it's Clark with the rebound. Clark's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Flynn. Drops in the layup for two. Flynn's got five points in the quarter. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Here's Bagley. Second chance shot. And it's blocked. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Ball. Dishes it to Bagley. That falls. Nice feet that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists tonight. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Flynn against Morant. Flynn the pass to Silva. He dishes it to Ayton. Clock it two for three A Kogi. Team World with a fresh shot clock. Another shot. Clark trying to get open. And Ayton with the nice bucket inside. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss. One of Aiden's special. And that one's good. Morant. Now Flynn. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the fourth. The shot's good. Clark's got four points now in the quarter. You, you got to know this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots when he's inside. Morant kicks the ball. Loads it up there for Morant. Oh my goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Virtually impossible to top that alley -oop. Out of bounds. It'll be USA's ball. USA. Team World making some changes. Hachimura is checked in for Clark. And Doncic is subbed in for Josh Akogi. Here's Ball. And there's the pass to Bagley. Back to Ball. Outside, Bagley. Down to five on the shot clock. He's a real wrecking ball inside once Bagley has solid position you almost have to foul it Marvin Bagley two shots two shots the first one fall Mo Wagner's checked in for eight
And so Bagley nails them both. On offense, here's Team World. Doncic looking it over. Right wing, pass to Flynn. Six to shoot, inside. And it's Doncic. That time on the assist by Flynn. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Okay, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Flynn with it. So no problem for Team World as they get the win. What a terrific game. I tell you what, these young players are going to give us years of excitement to come. The future of the NBA is looking very bright with these guys, Kevin. Terrific young players. It sure is. You're right, Greg. And this really was a fun contest to watch, as it always is. We hope you've all enjoyed it as much as we have. Thanks so much for joining us. For Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll see you again next time.